Palm Capital's review, a legitimate uh, 10% passive returns or big investment scam. Website is uh, palmcapitals.com. Anyways, all of that coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned. Hey, Rory Singh here. Uh, welcome to the channel. Please find that big red button, subscribe, and also click on this bell notification icon. That way you won't miss out on any important updates. On this channel, what I do most of the time, as per request by my viewers, is to review stuff. Sometimes I find some good income opportunities, but lately, more often than not, I found some brutal nasty scams that were responsible for stealing billions of dollars worth of uh, funds and especially crypto from unsuspecting victims okay so you want to make sure that that unsuspecting victim is not you okay uh, anyways today we're uh, going to get into a palm capitals review uh, seems to be an, an investment opportunity circulating around uh, the Toronto area in Canada okay um, so let's get into it. Palm Capital's review. Can you make up to 10% uh, passive rewards um, ROI? Or is this just another investment scam? The website is palmcapitals.com. Now, according to them, they're an investment opportunity. And um, I noticed that on their footer section in their website, um, they have two locations, one in London in the UK, as, and then the second one is Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Okay, um, I'm also going to include a link to this blog post review on my new blog, RoriSingReviews.com, underneath this um, video in YouTube. Okay, um, so two locations... First one is London, second one is Toronto. Now I checked both of those addresses and I can't see any proof that they're actually located in either of those listed uh, places. Uh, the, the one in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, uh, they're claiming that they were on the 27th floor of a big office building um, in the downtown area. Okay, and uh, I looked at Google Maps for both locations, and there's no proof that they're there. I'm thinking that they just picked this address out of their hat because there's no verifiable proof that those are their real addresses. Um, the domain itself, palmcapitals.com, it was privately registered on April 2nd, 2019, and then it was updated on April 8, 2020. Uh, 2021 of this year now on the website they claim they're a financial uh, planning firm unlike any other um, they like it that way they are an emporium based business and provide a unique service focused on re resolving the financial challenges faced by busy entrepreneurs professionals in the media tech and creative sectors let us do our heavy lifting so that you can get on with doing what you love to do. Our purpose is to make a positive difference, one family at a time. This is what inspires them, what gets them out of bed in the morning and provides the focus that energizes and drives their people and their business. It is their soul of their business and it shapes their culture <laughs> since i'm not part of this i'm just reading it uh, third party here anyways we they they operate in the world of facts truth evidence and science okay now according to my research um i'm going to disagree with that they don't seem to be true i don't see any facts um and no evidence that they are legit and real Okay, now the good news about this platform is they seem to have people in their about us section, in their team section, but the bad news is none of them could be verified. 
I cannot find any digital footprint of any of these people outside of the Palm Capital's website. They have uh, the CEO, Chief Executive Officer, they claim his name is uh, Smith Francis, Francisek, and then uh, Susan Lyric, Chief Operating Officer, and uh, Piotr Greets is their global head of corporate strategy. Okay. Um, they seem to be fake identities. Why would I say that? Because there's no digital footprint on any of these people, especially the CEO, Smith, right? Smith Francisek, right? If he's a CEO of a big uh, financial investment firm, of course you're going to be able to have to find evidence that he actually exists, okay? So I'm going to go with anonymous people own this platform. <coughs> now, the addresses, I covered that, um, no verifiable proof. Uh, I'm the, I would say they're using fake addresses. I want to expand on why I just said that in just a moment, okay? Now, I noticed they also have a Facebook group, uh, and they're claiming that they're in Toronto, Ontario, as their location of their official Facebook Palm Capitals group. You guys could check that out yourself. I always uh, recommend that you guys go out there and do your own due diligence, your own due diligence and research as well, okay? Um now, the person that asked me to look into this uh, organization because he suspected that it was a scam, uh, it's a, a gentleman out of, um, actually, he's originally from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, a gentleman by the name of Mikey Wong, um, Canadian fellow and who now resides in China. Uh, ever heard of a, well, we have a lot of Chinese here in uh, Canada with Canadian accents. He has a very strong, <laughs> distinguishable Canadian accent, uh, but he's uh, residing in Hong Kong, and he's uh, known for whistleblowing as well as scam alerts. Uh, he's basically a, a reviewer in Hong Kong. Okay, so Mike, Mike Wong asked me to check this out, and he's got a group called Scam Alert Global. Okay, and they issued a uh, scam alert on this company that's apparently been around for like almost two years now. Okay, over two years. Okay. Um, now, Mr. Wong even went as far as contacting the Ontario Securities Commission in Canada to see if Palm Capitals is actually legally registered uh, in Ontario, in Toronto, Ontario, to offer the public an investment opportunity. And this was his reply. Dear Mr. Wong, thank you for the follow-up information to the Ontario Secur Securities Commission, OSC, uh, concerning Palm Capital, palmcapitals.com. Since Bridget is currently out of the office, I am replying to your email on her behalf. I confirm that Palm Capital is not registered to deal with and advise in securities in Ontario, and I also have provided this information to the enforcement branch of the OSC for further review, okay? Uh, sincerely, Jennifer Bell, Lead Inquiries Officer, Ontario Securities Commission. So there you have it. They're not legally set up uh, in Ontario, Canada. I also noticed that they're not showing any proof of registration in the UK, right, especially for London, uh, with the FCA security regulator over there. So they're not registered uh, anywhere, anywhere to legally offer the public a securities offering. Okay, this is very important. Now, compensation plan for Palm Capitals. Let's quickly look at that. Five different plans to choose from. Investment of $200. This is a premium bond solution. Uh, commission 1.1%. Duration. Compound five months. Then they have the blue chip, 5000 bucks. Commission 1.3%. Duration 12 uh, compound five months. Now, NFP solution, $8,000 investment cost. Commission of 10% is what they're promising. Duration, 30. Compound, four months. Then they have ETF funds. Wow, people are going, I wonder if anyone's actually giving them 50 grand of their hard-earned money. Anyways, EFT funds, uh, $50,000 investment, a promise of 1.5%, duration 12, compounded for four months. Corporate class, cost of 500000 
Commission 2%, duration 12, compounded for 5 months. Conclusion. Okay, does a POM capital scam exist? Well, let's look at the facts. Number one, um, their admin executive team appears to be fake since they cannot verify any of their information. And none of these people seem to exist outside of the palmscapital.com website. Uh, number two, they are not licensed to offer securities anywhere in the world, so they're not legally set up for the long term. Okay. Uh, number three, they are offering unsustainable passive returns. Uh, number four, they show no proof of outside revenue sources in the area of finance and investment. So they're not showing any proof um, that they are who they say they are and that they're specializing in uh, the area of finances or investment. Okay, They're just talking about it. And on the website, they're basically anonymous people, right? Uh, to me, these are all red flags. Now, the fifth thing is they have one trust pilot review that I could find, and it's a negative one. And it says, be careful, guys. It's dangerous. Many of the profiles are fake. And all the time, send you message to put money to press. Their promotion are fake and many problems with the wallets. They have 35% tax. But is secret, they told us the last moment all my team lose the money. Some people pay the tax and nothing. Okay, so they have they seem to have a 35% fee according to this person, and he's claiming that he's not recommending them. Uh, that his team uh, lose their money basically, lost their money. Um, okay, so personally for me, I don't recommend uh, Palm Capitals and palmcapitals.com. Why? Because there's too many red flags. And lastly, guys, I got to say that if these guys could actually go out there and get up to 10% passive returns for themselves, compound it, right? Why the heck would they need a random stranger like you? Okay, so in the end, I would say don't, I don't recommend them. Um, it looks like a blatant scam and it seems to be going under the radar. I've seen some network marketers come to my channel and argue, hey, how could you say that this is a scam? Uh, because it's been around for two years. Well, just because something has been around for two years doesn't mean it's real and legitimate or that they're even paying people what they're claiming or promising. Just because they've been around for two years means that maybe they have uh, a small organization and they're just flying under the radar. Another thing I got to say about uh, security regulators, guys, they don't seem to care. I mean, they give fraud warnings and it, you know, for more, for some of these platforms, when they get enough fraud warnings, it does tend to scare um, investors off as these platforms thrive since they don't have any proof of outside revenue to pay investors. The only revenue that I could see going into this, this type of platform like palmscapital.com is from the recruitment of new investors to basically pay the admins, the anonymous people, and um, even their top promoters, okay? Um, so just because they've been around for two years and no one really shut them down doesn't mean they're legit. They're just flying under the radar, but um, as I said, security regulators, they, they give them a slap on the wrist and for some platforms, it is enough to shut them down. Uh, there was uh, a big investment uh, scam called USI Tech that got, and there was another one called AWS Mining, and both of those got a fraud, an investor's fraud warning from Texas Securities Commission. And because people saw that, it dried up new investment, and those both of those platforms, AWS Mining, and the other one, they shut down, collapsed, USI Tech just shut down because big red flags of investor fraud warnings. But at the end of the day, I don't think, uh, I don't know, they should do more. Um, but me personally, I, I notice a lot of network marketers are promoting these type of platforms. But to me, I don't know. At the end of the day, uh, it's huge risk because... Who the heck wants to get, you know, with especially in Ontario, Canada, uh, you get caught promoting this type of illegal investment opportunity, unregistered, unlicensed. They, if they want, and they, they can build a case on you, right, a, a promoter, and uh, they could call the RCMP, 
right? And haul people in, investigate you, build a case on you, get you in front of a judge. And um, you're competing with banks, right? Fake opportunity, pretending to be an investment firm, right? <laughs> competing with, with the banks. The banks hate that. Right? You, uh, people have uh, gotten away with murder in Canada. And, but, you know, when you mess with taxes or you mess with finances, I'm just thinking, you know, going to jail for network marketing, it's kind of crazy. But <laughs> a lot of people disagree. Anyways, that is my uh, review. This concludes my review on uh, palmcapitals.com. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Wong, Mikey Wong, whistleblower from Hong Kong, originally from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Um, he's uh, doing a lot of poking and digging around uh, in, in uh, Hong Kong, um, exposing these scams, guys. Anyways, for those of you who are still here looking for a legitimate way to earn an income, earn an income, right? Um, there's a power, get access to a powerful opportunity that can teach you how to create an income. Uh, it's for people who want to make money online, but don't know how to set up and launch your own business. Well, even it's not a Ponzi scheme. Like we're not going to promise you guys any income for doing nothing. The work online, if you want to earn a paycheck, a full-time paycheck, or even a part-time income online is to learn how to do internet marketing, right? Uh, primarily, I recommend affiliate marketing. So if, if that's you right now, get access to my number one recommended affiliate marketing education platform underneath this video. First link in the description. Uh, we'll even assign you to a one-on-one -on -one coach that can help you every step of the way. Okay, uh, A lot of people are out there and promoting stuff and they just, you know, they join stuff, but then at the end of the day, they don't promote it or, you know, get enough traffic and targeted uh, people to their offers. Okay, so this platform can teach you how to do that. Uh, it's the first link underneath this video in the description box, lower below. Also, um, some of you guys are promoting stuff that who, you know, uh, frequent this channel and without traffic your earning potential is pretty well dead in the water if you just want to buy traffic get affordable paid traffic to your opportunities underneath this video first link in the description box below sorry second link underneath this video anyways guys i'll see you on the next one take care